Hello everyone, I'm Meg Coker, Dr. Morfield Lang's graduate assistant, and this is Tech 15. Today we're looking at Padlet, a handy online tool for visually organizing your information. Here we are at the Padlet homepage, which as you can see in the top left corner has the URL of Padlet, P-A-D-L-E-T dot com. There are multiple levels of Padlet. There's a free level, which we'll be logging into in a moment, as well as premium levels, which are backpack and briefcase. If you click on either of these links, they'll open up a page Page that tells you about the free 30-day trial as well as more information on features of the premium level pricing information on customers who use it frequently asked questions and contact information you can click sign up and connect with your Google account or your Facebook account since I already have an account I'll be logging in in a moment but first I want to show you that you can go ahead and create your own Padlet before you even log in and try out some of the different options there however since some features are different when you are logged into your account I am going to go ahead and show you some of those features this is a basic account menu you can see the different Padlets that I've created activity going on in your Padlets collaborators files that you've uploaded links that you've used as well as edit your settings and profile, as well as other portions of the app, including a Chrome extension, which you can use to pin items from any website to your Padlet, Chrome app, and WordPress plugin. Here at the bottom, links to their blog, Facebook page, Twitter, and Google+. We're going to go ahead and create a new Padlet. This is what your Padlet looks like when you first open it. Now on the right, you can see we have a link to our homepage, create a new wall, a link to my username, ways to share and export, which as you can see interfaces with a variety of different social networks as well as including several formats that you can choose and other ways to share your information. Links for help including frequently asked questions, shortcuts, and email contact and ways to modify the wall. The first two features of a Padlet include a small thumbnail which you can choose from these options or add your own, a typable title, and a description. You can also use this menu of modifying the wall to add your wallpaper, which includes several different options, as well as the ability to add your own. Change the layout, which we'll show more about in just a moment once we've added a few posts. Privacy settings, notifications, address. You can change the URL from the auto-generated collection of numbers and letters to a specific URL. Add it to a domain which you own, as well as ways to copy and delete both all the posts or the entire wall. You might notice the difference between wall and post, which comprise your Padlet. This is the wall, and that is a post. To add a post, all you have to do is double click, and it pops up. You can add whatever title you want and type whatever text you want, as well as add a link, upload a file, or include a photo from webcam. Worth noting is that there are some formatting options with your text, including paragraphs, quotes, coding, bold, italicized, deleted, you know, line through, as well as unordered lists, ordered lists, and indenting and outdenting. And if you don't like your post, you can click here to delete. Once you've created a post, you can move it wherever you want on the page when it's in a free form. If you click on the little pencil here, that's to edit the post further. And if you have more than one post, this is in free form, which you remember over here in modify, where you can move them wherever you want. If you change the layout, it automatically moves your post for you into a stream or a grid layout. You can also change the size of your posts by clicking and dragging along the edges. This has been a brief introduction to the visual organizing tool Padlet. I hope it's been a helpful one. This has been Tech15. Thanks for watching.